How is about Pablo Tragnitz? Do you both your ex this doctor mystery vid? It's titled When Streamers Humble Entitled Women. Okay, let's see what streamers on here do the humbling. Let's watch. One entitled woman got humbled for trying to end a streamer's relationship, and oh. Boozy had to fire his assistant for acting too entitled towards him. This is what happens when streamers humble entitled women. Now, we have to start things off with Fousey because he is well known for humbling anyone who he thinks is on the wrong. Like one time when he was doing an IRL stream out on the streets of Chicago back in July 2023, when a couple of drunk girls began to get too close for comfort. Then, one of them started to get a little rowdy and went as far as to oh. slapping Fousey in the face. Wait, wait, wait. I said, yo. Wait, and I said, yo. I said, yo. Yeah. Ratchet. <laughs> But that's when he went off against them, telling them to show more respect and that if they were girls, he would definitely smack them back. Yo, don't ever put your hands on me again. If I can't touch a female, don't put your hands on me ever again. I'm serious. They don't even know him. No, I'm not gay. Shut they call him up. gay? Don't put your hands on another man. The ghetto. Get up out of there. Don't put your hands on another man. That's not the only time Fousey had to humble entitled women. Although this time it wasn't some random girl, but rather his former assistant, Kitty Correa. Kitty joined Fousey's team in mid-2023, following him everywhere and managing his personal business. The two seemingly hit it off well with her appearing in some of his streams and even going on a date together for a subathon. The relationship didn't last long though because the two reached a breaking point during one of Fousey's streams a few months later. As they were hanging out in Las Vegas, they got into a heated argument over Kitty not showing any appreciation to Fousey for spending all the money to get her there and that she should show more respect to him. As a grown person, you're 28 years old, I'm 33, you're not a kid like Nadia. Not one text to say, hey you said, thank you so much for flying me out to Vegas. Have such a good time this weekend. I'm having such a good time. Not even a sorry, not even a thank you. I haven't been sorry, what is she once doing? by you for none of it. Not once. Uh, I don't know the situation. And he's saying you didn't say sorry. So clearly there's more to the story. Maybe she fucked up in some way. But I don't agree with the whole thank you part. I don't like when people do shit for others expecting... Uh, something in return even if it's uh, appreciation or a thank you and I agree obviously that's the respectable thing to do and people should do that but you shouldn't get mad when people don't do it it's like did you do this because you wanted somebody to acknowledge that you're this great person or you wanted them to praise you or did you do it out of the kindness of your heart and you should only be doing things for people out of the kindness of your heart so I, I just feel like I don't agree with that and I'm sorry and if I'm wrong call me out I don't think I'm wrong I know because I care about that. When people say sorry, when people say thank you. But yeah, he's saying sorry, so she did something. Matters. The little, I don't care if you can give me the big because if you can't do the little, your big could never even bitch. You haven't but obviously, anything. yeah, I wouldn't want to fuck with nobody who can't even say thank you. Like, obviously, it's, it's about their character and you should kind of sigh eye them. But just in the future, know that you don't either want to fuck with them or you don't want to do anything for them just because they don't seem like a good person, if that makes sense. But I don't think it makes sense to call them out on it. If anything, you make a mental note, like, okay, I don't need praise, but you not giving praise, it shows me that you're not, uh, like, you're not a good person. <laughs> and you're not a grateful person. So I'm just going to take a mental note, but I'm never going to call you out. Why you ain't say thank you to me? Like, I think that's crazy. You know? You are sorry once, public. Pull me to the side and apologize. But obviously a good that. person is going to say Don't thank you. Like, that's just basic. Yeah. Go home that night. You're laying in bed. And my boss, Yusuf, I love him. Hey, Yusuf, I'm love sorry. Him. But something is off with that relationship. Later in the discussion, Kitty explained that they, they makes it business and pleasure. I literally have been wanting to spend time with you. But, and, but, but, but what did your action say? What did your action say? There's been tension. Why would, like, why would I... Want to hang around when, and I'm not saying I'm not appreciative. I'm very appreciative of being here. Thank you so much. And you're picking up your phone again. See, this is why, like, I just can't have a conversation. Oh, so when I pick up my phone and I do something that upsets you, it's a problem. But when you upset no, me, I'm it's not a problem. To talk to you. Even without your phone out, so I am more you. hurt by you, genuinely, Kitty. It's not my Why? Me. I want to no, be here. No, I don't care what chat's saying. I don't I've care never, anything. I've... The door is right there. You know when our flight is. Our car is here. You know when we're going home. Go have fun with Nadia. You just looked at me in the face in front I'm of my business. To... Can I talk? You're not letting me speak. You 
I've so. heard you enough. Your but actions you're not, speak far you're louder. Not listening Kitty, to Kitty, me. Kitty, Kitty Coelho, you just looked at me in the eyes in front of my business my and said that I'm emotionally valid. abusing you. As they kept arguing, the stream cut off, and I returned to Fousey saying that he was the boss and that he reserved to be treated as such. I don't give a mm, what you're saying. Ego. This is my company. I'm the boss, and I deserve even. I get no respect. So the fact that I'm demanding my respect now, I'm gonna demand. But I don't know the situation. I can't really Ain't speak. no G6 energy is gonna work for me. Don't ever come to me and disrespect me like that. It was later revealed that Fousey fired her after the stream and that Kitty tweeted about it saying that she wouldn't speak on the matter to not fuel more drama. A week later, she spoke about it on her own stream saying that Fousey had pulled a whole 180 on her. I just remember sitting on on the computer and doing our good. desktop streams and our reactions and how much we laughed, how much we danced in the car, how much we danced in the house, how much we would just play around and around and scream and do skits and bits and acting fun jumping being just like corny and now it's like a monster Fousey also talked about it on Aiden's stream saying that it was all because he had supported her from the very beginning but that she wasn't showing him the same amount of support or appreciation for everything he had done for her so he had to humble her for being entitled wait why did you fire your assistant dude I'll, I'll tell you why right now so I meet her in, she's, I meet her on Discord. I ask her if she wants to come down and collab. She comes down. This she's like the fuck viewers. Her. Taking her on dates. She comes down. I welcome her into so the family, welcome her into G7. I give her my bed the entire time she sleeps there. I sleep on the couch. I support her. I love her unconditionally. Wait, I do my wait, guys, were you guys dating at all? It, the first three days we kissed. Did you guys do anything else besides kiss? Because you're a man of no. God. So tell me the truth. No. Tell me the truth. No. Tell me the truth. No. No. Um, we come to Vegas to celebrate the pig deal, right? Yeah. I fly her. I fly Nick. We're here. I don't see her a single time. She hangs out with Nadia the whole time. She yeah. doesn't help me. She doesn't assist me. Nothing. Right? Yeah. And the first day, the first day I got really angry, and that's why she left. So cool. The next day, I'm texting her, I'm, I'm sorry, let's hang out, yada yada. Right, 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 right. uh huh. She doesn't, she still doesn't come. Okay. And I whisper in her ear, and I tell her how much I love her and need her, appreciate her. You know what she says in return? What? I only came here to get the hotel key, I'm sorry. I looked at her, I said, was that a joke? She said, no, I'm serious. From Fousey to the FaZe Clan, you wouldn't think the guys from FaZe to be involved in too much drama regarding women, but this has changed with the release of their latest series, The FaZe Clan Love Island, where they oh. took a bunch of girls and tried to pair them up with some of the members. It all seemed to be a bunch of fun for everyone involved, but it didn't end without some drama between one of the girls and a FaZe member. During the final day of the series, Silky got into an argument with one of the girls that were picked, but who was still hanging around. After a moment, he he called security to have her kicked out of the house. As he went off at her, he called her a B, and that's when she got angry and um, began to try and press him before actually leaving the house. I'm just here for like the vibes, for real. Um, you got Silky to 8,000 streams yesterday. Oh yeah, you that, you did. that's true, that's true. Silky would not have been at 8,000. You did, you did. Oh, yeah. 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 You yeah. did. You did. You did. You did. You You did. You
extremer who's had to humble entitled women yeah, who tried like to that. use his fame to get their five minutes in the call spotlight. Her out, there was this time he dealt with a girl that was trying to cloud chase off of him. It all began when this oh, girl man. was invited to a party at the AMP house, where she linked up with Kai oh, and hung out for a while. Is this Some stripper? time later, Kai oh, reacted boyfriend? to a video she posted on her TikTok no, to no, make no. it seem she had spent the night at his room. Immediately after seeing the video, Kai knew she was just another cloud chaser and called her up to let her explain why she posted that. Wait, but all she said funny. was she did it out of spite and to be petty. Yeah, that's me. This isn't the OnlyFans girl. Who is this? training though that's what i don't respect it, it's it's one thing to check someone put them in their place sure but act like you have some respect for for women you don't need to call these women out of their names i don't agree with that I didn't do nothing for her. No, I didn't do nothing for her, chat. I did not do nothing for her. To back it up, Kai showed the conversations they had and that she was only mad because he rejected her. Skip record! Skip record! She's mad because she couldn't be and I didn't want to... No, I'm good off that. She wanted some water, so I got some water. And she recorded in my some water. Hold on, chat. Wait a second. I'll show you right now. I got you. Ooh, 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 ooh. You see, you should have never did that. You should have never did that. Boom, screenshot. A screenshot yeah, it. One. Boom, screenshot one more time. Would you consider booking me for things or events that you possibly have going on in the future? I would love to work with you and I'll do it for free. Left her there. You don't f with me for real. Left her there. Well, she said, you don't f with me for real. I said, what you mean? I'm traveling right now. She said, I wish I would have on you. I keep thinking about it. And because you haven't texted me back, I miss you low key. But I'm not going to keep bothering you. Know I, I know you're busy. Play with me, bitch. Word to my mother on everything I love. Look. Look, chat. Look. I wish I would have on you. And I did not. Look, I didn't even want to do nothing. She wanted some water. Here's your water. Stop doing that, bro. Chill out, bro. Like, bro. Yeah, all because you couldn't get in the party. She was blown I think I vaguely remember this. Wanted actually. to get in the party. Look. May, I, may you please pay for my Uber tomorrow. What's the address? My phone's about to die. It's two hundred dollars to get to the party. I apologize for blowing up your phone, but you did me dirty. It didn't end there though, because the girl later appeared in one of Deshay Frost's streams, and Kai was quick to warn Deshay about her and to not let him fall for whatever she could pull. Ooh. Deshay has this girl that did some weird shit to me. That was clown chasing. Get back out! Get back out! Also had 
the stand as Brown when dealing with an entitled woman in the AMP house. This happened back in February 2022 when Kai invited over IG model KK Vish to do a stream together. At first, they were both having fun and even shot some stuff for a video, but then KK began acting up, having random phone calls with a weird guy during the stream and freaking everyone out. Kai tried to warn her not to be sharing the house's location with that crazy guy because they would have to go on a lockdown. Plus, don't talk. You tell me you was gonna tell me. I'll tell you, but look, that's not the fucking case. Look, though. War to act like, like war two? It will be Avengers Assemble when this war will be going up hard lockdown. Well, I'm playing. I have a lot of issues. I ain't gonna lie Check. I be in the gym. War. Don't even. Nah, don't say that. Don't say that. Why are you thinking so much into this? Oh, what? Oh, what? And you got, you embarrassing. How you turn this on mute? Bro. You got all these people what? in my business. I'm not new enough. <laughs> nah, I'm not new enough. <laughs> Just a few seconds later, Kai realized that KK had her location turned on, and he knew that she was trying to mess with him by setting him up. It all took a turn when there was a random guy outside the house, so he has to go and check it out, all while she tries to play it cool with oh, chat. Why oh, you got your location? You see, you wally. I don't got see, no, 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 you, 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 you What you talking about, bro? Oh, you can't really like... <laughs> nah, I... Let me... What's up? You playing with me? <laughs> no. Now give it a stay. You playing with me? <laughs> now give me this last time. You, are you playing with me? No. Cause word. Let me know now. Shut up. What are you talking about? Somebody. Did somebody get her? I'm, I already. I just got DoorDash and it's somebody outside. Stop. Mm -mm. Stop. Chris calling me, that means he's dead at If Chris calling me, that means <laughs> from his room so he had to stand on business and kicked her out Damn. before she could do anything crazy. Hey bro, you, you gotta go bro. Why? Well, Kai. Kai went downstairs and went outside. Yeah, man, you gotta go. Why? Cause bro, I, I watched it bro. I watched that from downstairs bro. You got me calling and he yelling and all that weird shit. Yeah, that's too much. Go. Hey Kai! Yeah. Hey Kai! Bro, they tripping, bro. These people always, bro. This way, good cookie. Yeah, you know, and Deshane also had to humble an IG model who was acting too entitled in his stream because he had a couple of girls over to his house. One of them being then internet star Jesse Taylor. Right from the start, she began to complain that she had to wait for so long to get on the stream, and then she goes on to ask if she was getting paid to be there. Oh. She might have said it as a joke, but you could tell that Deshay was annoyed by that question. Nothing, but I'm just, I was really annoyed that I had to wait a really long time. And then I waited 20 minutes downstairs, I waited an hour. Look at his I mean, are we getting paid? <laughs> I'm just like, we got money right here. Me and Kayla getting paid for this. Oh, what you mean? I just. I don't, I don't need your money. Okay. No, I, I want some money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not happening over here. I'm sorry. And then she takes her entitlement to the next level by telling him not to make her wait. But the Shay was quick to let her know that there won't be a next time and told her to leave. Okay, well, next time don't make me wait over now. Girl, get up out of here. I don't know you're not talking to me. I am. 
I'm gonna leave. I waited over an hour and I drove right, 20 minutes. Ahead, Dude, hey, that's so funny. Ahead. My friend literally said this was gonna happen. That you were trying to embarrass me. Go ahead. I wasn't trying to embarrass you, but you being weird. But I'm not being weird. I don't play that. Wait, you don't play that. Hey, go. I'm dead. I drove. I waited an that's hour. Cool, and then drive another hour. I'm not playing. Okay. Yeah. This is literally what I. I Nope. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. I don't give a f how long you waited. You're literally just showing out for the stream. No. Okay? I'll cut this stream off and still tell you to get the f out. I'm getting out. Okay. I'm going to take off my shoes. What's wrong with you? You're not going to come in my crib and be like, don't make me wait. As she was getting out, she started saying that he owed her an apology for making her Girl. wait, but the Shay told her that he didn't even know she was there and that she just invited herself. And he didn't apologize to me either. Apologize to you for what? Girl, this guy. For making you wait. And then you got you invited me and then you said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I didn't invite you over here. Uh, I never did. What is wrong with you? Bro, stop talking. Disrespectful. I'm trying to be cool with you. You're not being cool. Waiting 20 minutes out there to stop is not cool. Bro, I didn't even know you're here. What the f is you talking I don't oh even got your number. I don't even know you. You don't know me? Well, look me up. Google me. Jeffy Taylor. So Google me right now. Google me right now. Yeah, Google me. Then everybody went down to the parking garage this to kick crazy. her out because she still wouldn't leave. At the yeah. end of everything, she tried to make it seem that everything was cool between her and Deshae and started to blame the other girl that was there for inviting her in the first place. Yeah. This was so fucked up. Like, do you not understand? Why are you waiting? No, it's... September 2023, Sneeko was in a podcast alongside Steiny from the One Night with Steiny podcast and internet personality Sophia Franklin, who already was in defense mode from the start, going off against Steiny and telling him that he could never have a shot at her. You know, I want to roast her because I am still trying to hit, so I'm not going to, but she okay. showed up, what, an hour late? Well, you also showed up 45 minutes late, so don't try to pin it all on. You both showed up extremely late. You know what? Um, I thought it was going to be Sneeko against Sophia, because that's what Steiny tried to put in my head, because he does that. He tries right. to fuck. No. Me and this podcast. No, that's what's happening. Me and uh, this Birkin bag girl against you. After about an hour of starting, she goes on to say that she could only date Is guys who make Birkin? billions of dollars. Girl. But then Sneeko quickly shot her down by saying that it's not uncommon for girls her age to pursue wealthy men to provide for their lifestyles. After that, her only response is to try and label Sneeko as a misogynist by telling him he hated his mom. And what? honestly, I've dated guys that make good money. I've never dated like an insanely wealthy dude. What's good money? Pull up your account. I, my phone mm -hmm. is dead. Okay. What is what is good? Until you can pull up your account, then... Well, give us an idea. Why does it have to be about me? Is, is a couple I'm million enough? Voice. Is a couple million enough? Maybe. Yeah. Isn't that wild? Like, nowadays, the, the, the market is so inflated that to get a 31-year-old girl... You know what's funny, though? You need to have multi-million dollars, like, to get a ran through 31-year-old oh. like, sweatpants burger bag. I know. Need to have multi is she only fan? Multiple M's in the bank. I know. That's insane. You can't just, you can't just be funny and have an 8-inch hammer oh, anymore. Hold on. What the hold on. Do you, do you hate women? No, no. Are women. you sure? I do. I love women. What's your relationship like with your I mom? I have a great relationship with my mom. Really? She I think I was declining. Really? I, I was just talking to her right before this. Like, right before I walked in, she was, I was... Why like, do you find that so hard to believe? Mm, I'm feeling a little anger, misogyny. That's it. Don't you dare say that. You still have some bullshit, though. But in general, Sneeko is declining. When you were a little kid, something happened. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you ever had to humble an entitled woman. Just like Cheezer had to do with a content creator for trying to disrespect An entitled women. That is my biggest pet peeve. When people use women as if it's singular. it's That's plural. You don't say a women. So to when people type it out, I, I just think they're a little slow, but they're confused. 
hearing it being said out loud is just grinds my gears. It started when Cheezer reacted a to a conversation is Kami had with a girl you also called also say a man? Who was a content creator and Twitch streamer with over 100,000 followers. In the call, Celine said that she felt sorry for Cheezer's girlfriend for being with him since he was way too weird, mentioning the time he did some sus things with an adult toy on stream. Oh. I feel bad for my girlfriend, why? I want to. I actually. Friend. I want to hear this. No, I dead up when you're watching this. Back girlfriend. I'm gonna start violating. Mother, like, you think because I'm filtered a little bit now that I'm not gonna violate? Damn. Wait, why are you so bad for his girlfriend? Because, like, the secondhand embarrassment of like dating in weird. Like, he's literally a cocky. Spits on the deep, deep throat such. Silky blew your back out. Sadly, he made it more crooked. It, it should have got straighter. Rewack blew your back out. That's why you're all fing Humpty Dumpty like a fing Elder Ring witch. I don't care. So Kambi decided to bring them both together to talk things through. But it only made things worse. Celine began by saying that she said those things because all of what she has seen about Cheezer is clips where he acted inappropriate towards underage girls. And that it looked like he just did a bunch of weird things to try and get attention. No, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying like my personal opinion. Like I've seen clips of you saying like some crazy sh like two like other what? people okay, give me an example like i don't know saw you doing some keyword sh like talking to little girls i talked to little girls oh, this no, is yeah. why i get mad and i saw a spat Dude, i'm oh, telling you I, listen, 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 no, listen, listen, listen 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 that's what she sees listen, she's listen, 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 listen. i don't know you know as well i'm telling you the clip that i have seen of you mm -hmm. i've seen you doing weird things and i personally okay. like you know that guy snags like i Kind of like you're kind of being like him. Like I feel like you'll you're doing you anything for a clip. Like mm. you, you like like that clip with the like it's not you did anything specifically towards me. I just like she don't like Peter. Don't like the the doing things that like kind of you have no morals just to like get a click or something like a clip out of it. No morals. You let Dude, you're like you deep. I did not touch Rewack. Like no, I don't know. Come on, Jesus. Oh, then Cheezer went off against her, saying that he didn't care about what she thought of him. She then went on to ask what his family thought about what he did online, and he just cooked her with the response. So what is the you want to talk to each other? Is there some validity to what she's saying? Why are we glossing over that? <laughs> or are y'all claiming she's just making this up and pulling this out of her ass? Because he's not explicitly stating that she's lying. He's not like, what are you talking about? That doesn't exist. He's not saying that. So was he talking to underage girls? So how is this him humbling an entitled woman? How does this make her entitled? Cause she's calling out some weirdo, possibly pedo behavior. Like, come on. Don't oh, care to talk to you. Always you talk always talk about me. You just said you always talk about me. Me, I'm me. Street fucking deep throat on your stream for a clip. Like, I hope. Oh, oh my God. 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 You're oh, going to hate God. 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 Oh, you do right. Right. Yes. I have a question. Yes. How does your family feel about the shit that you do on the internet? Oh, How does your mom feel? They're, they're, getting, they're getting payments set. How's your family? Yeah, that's what they're checks. You got 100 views set and then $15. Your mom's still breaking Okay, at least I'm not selling my soul. But not every time these conversations oh, between know, streamers and entitled girls are about their ego. Because place. Speed had the chance to give a lesson in morality to a couple of girls. Back in September 2022, Jeez, Speed Omegle. was doing an Omegle stream when he got paired up with two girls from Israel. And everything seemed cool with one of the girls even recognizing Speed from his videos and acting excited to be talking with him. However, everything changed when Speed showed his support for Palestine and one of the girls got really offended because of it, saying that he lost a fan and that she lost all respect for him. That's when Speed went off against her, calling her a liar because she has probably never seen a single one of his videos. Hey, where y'all from? Israel. What? What? Yo, you're from Israel? I mean, yeah, the flag is Yeah. No. Bro, why? Cuz, free Palestine. You have, bro, you, you got a free Palestine. Bro, you used to say love Israel. What happened? I do love Israel. A free power. What? You can't automatically. Well, I don't know. Yeah, you lost my respect right now. You weren't just. Just. Shut your line. So get here. Shut your line. So, you but the fact that they're offended by him saying that, I guess that says a lot. Went on my fucking channel and clicked the video of mine. So don't even sit up here straight to my oh, face and lie to me. No, you have not. <laughs> what do I stream on? What do I stream on? Yeah, see, like, yeah, exactly. Nah, nah, nah. Don't skin me. What app do I stream on? I stream on 
on Twitch, right? I streamed on Twitch. Then he kept going on about how he didn't understand why the girl on the right was so disrespectful to him. Only because he said free Palestine. Exactly. But he doubled down by the end to give her an actual reason to be mad about. But her, yeah. I don't know why. Hey, I don't know what's wrong with the painting of Ariana Grande lover. I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't know what's up with you. See, your other friend is being very respectful right now, but you right now, nah, being, no, you're being a, but you're being a fing right now. Thank you. Love you too. And uh, your friend, I apologize if I uh, offended you in any type of way, okay? okay. Psych! Free Palestine! Okay, I quit. And Neon's girl, Sam Frank, almost got into some serious trouble for playing dirty with Chibu and had to get humbled because of it. This happened during one of Chibu's streams. He was talking with a couple of girls on Monkey when all of a sudden Sam barges in and scares the hell out of Chibu. Bad little thing, sassy. And she give me it that night, she go crazy. <laughs> I remember the times I was... <laughs> If that wasn't enough, she comes back again as he's getting up to spit at him. But Chiba wasn't that having none of that and goes out to tell Neon to get his girl. After a while, he comes back to end stream, all while saying how crazy she was. And that she was lucky that it didn't hit him, or he would have crashed on her. She deserved better than him. As soon as he realized what was going on, he told her off and told her to go away. Even after that, you can see her in the back talking to an employee, probably complaining about ice. Like she deserves better. You don't know about me, lady. Who the who, 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 I don't really give a f you. Oh, hell no. She might have been into something, though, because just two months after that, Kim announced Ice and her had broken up. This next one is a really crazy one because Kai completely destroyed an OnlyFans girl's career for trying this to expose him for some clout. About half a year this whole thing happened, Kai sort of dated yeah, OnlyFans model. Like... Dating her? He was not dating her. That's a reach. Um, I read to an entire video about that. Check it out if you missed it. Um, yeah, these guys <laughs> deal with some ratchets, okay? They invite ratchets on their stream. They do podcasts with ratchets. And they interact with, with these people. So it's like, hmm, this is the company you're choosing to keep. So I don't know what to tell y'all. But yeah, I, I feel like in some cases, it was unnecessary to call the women out of their names. Even if they're being disrespectful, I don't think it's appropriate to go to the, the most offensive thing you can think of to call them. You know, so that's where I, I disagree. You feel me? Because a man calling a woman the B word, that is highly offensive to most women. So it's like, you got to think of it if it's you. Let's say you're getting into it with, if you're a black guy, you're getting into it with a white person. Even if you are disrespectful, you wouldn't want them to call you the N word or something like that. Try to think of the most disrespectful thing they can say to you. It's just a matter of being a decent person and having a certain level of respect, even if you do feel disrespected. That's just how I view it, but I, you know, was raised right. So <laughs> I had home training. So that's just my perspective on the matter. But yeah, they were definitely dealing with some some ratchet women for the most part. But I just, you know, side eye 
videos that are made like this and especially these titles because I feel like it it uh, continues to feed this gender war, this male versus woman nonsense that's very prevalent online. It's just eye rolling, but sure. A couple people asked me to check this out, so I was like, I'll watch it, but whatever. <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all next time. Bye!